This segment is sponsored by Columbus Makes Art. As you know, many entities are affected by the onset of the coronavirus, and that includes a large arts community here in Central Ohio. So with us to share more and give you ways to help our art community is Jamie Goldstein, VP of Marketing Communications and Events with the Greater Columbus Arts Council. Jamie, how are you holding up at this point? Um, I'm doing okay, Cameron. How are you doing? I'm but, happy to be on here with you this morning. That that events part on my title can probably go away for a little while. That's true, but you know what? I know you're doing so many things to make sure you're making the investment to continue events in the future. First off, tell us how many organizations, events, exhibitions, and individuals this stay-at-home order affects here in Central Ohio. Well, I mean, we funded over 400 artists last year, so that's just the artists that we touch in Franklin County. We know that pretty much all of them are affected. The number of events canceled since we stopped really going out a week or 10 days or so ago uh, is approaching 300. Wow. Um, and that really doesn't count closings for organizations, organizations that are more admissions-based, like the museum and Franklin Park and COSI. Um, so uh, this is, just, I mean, there isn't a sector that this doesn't hit, right? Right. Um, and so this is this is devastating. But individuals, creative individuals, are particularly hard hit, and they're really the the the, the bedrock of, of what we do here yeah. um, in Columbus in the arts. And many of them have second jobs at industries that are also shuttered. Um, they are 1099 employees in many cases, so they don't yet qualify for unemployment insurance. Um, so we're our the artist fund we started is really meant to be a social service to our artists, specifically those in the creative industry, to let them pay their you know their rent, to buy food, on all of the other dire and essential needs that um, that we all have in, in at any time. Right. I know you guys are hard at work. So talk about that. The fund. What have you guys done as the Greater Columbus Arts Council to help these entities and the individuals? Well, we're working with our organizations, um, obviously, on, on deadlines and applications and things. Um, and um, the, for individuals specifically, we set up this fund. We started it with $150,000 um, of GCACs, reallocated wow. grant funds. Um, and we're, uh, and that's from, you know, basically grants that we would have given to artists. Um, but we, we recognize that they have different needs right now. Yeah. So that we're letting them use those needs. And then we've raised about $35,000 from just Great. over 100 people um, in the past four days. And really, no gift is too small. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, GCAC.org, make a gift. We'd really appreciate it. Um, the, the stories are heartbreaking. I, I um, read some applications yesterday. And, I, you know, it's true across our community. Um, and just encourage people to give where they can. For organizations, maybe consider not asking for a refund for a ticket. Um, check out what they're doing online. Lots yeah. of people are being creative artists and organizations offering virtual experiences. Um, and if they provide a way to make a small donation, do that. Um, we're, we all, we're in this together. We all have to be there to support each other. Right. And as you said, it looks like the community is coming together and will continue to do so. We have so much faith in Columbus. And what's great is you guys are still offering art for people that are stay at home. How can we take part in the arts in Columbus virtually? Yeah, so you know the arts are really a, a, like this critical connection point to us as as humans. We've all heard about the f Italian folks going out on their balconies and singing. <laughs> People need to create art. They need to experience art, particularly when there's fear and despair. So um, we have created ColumbusMakesArt.com/virtual. We're cataloging those um, events and uh, we're going to encourage organizations to start entering virtual events. We had to actually add that to the database yeah. in order to be able to get it done. But you know, if you've ever if you've ever been, uh, if you've ever belly laughed during a performance or been moved by a piece of music or a, a virtual arts exhibition or a visit to the museum or um, been able to calm yourself with a poem, think of people who created that yeah. work and um, and think about and get, consider a gift to our fund. Well, Jamie, you and your team are the glue right now that's holding this arts community together. Thank you for all the work that you're doing and thank you for sharing your message. Absolutely. Thank you, Cameron. All you have to do is go to GCAC.org to donate because Columbus makes art and it will continue to do so with your help.